Hello ladies and gentlemen, Askey here for Nerf TV with a hero overview for Strife. Today let's look at Carter. Carter is a very long ranged hero who is able to engage his enemies from a great distance, sniping them off when they think they're safe or denying HP and mana recovery to his enemy. His skills allow him to remain at a safe distance in team fights while still being able to dish out the damage and he's also very difficult to escape from as if you're at low HP he can hit you from such a long range. Let's take a look at his skills and in what order to buy them. At level 1 start out with Yak Attack. This is a ranged AoE spell that will damage and slow those hit by it. It's your only real or efficient harassment skill for the early game and this will allow you to punish anyone who overextends. At level 2 put a point to Rocket Barrage. This is your long range skill and later in the game it will become your bread and butter as it's a very effective source of damage. However in the early game we have a big problem as this skill will hit anything that's an enemy in its way including creeps meaning if your enemy can get surrounded by creeps landing a good hit of Rocket Barrage is very difficult. The reason we get it at level 2 however is it's a great source of damage if the opportunity arises for an early kill. In combination with Yak Attack you can slow a target making Rocket Barrage much easier to land. should also note it comes with two charges meaning you can fire off two shots in a row if you wish giving you some really nice burst damage. At levels 3 and 5 get points in Yak Attack and between them at level 4 get another point in Rocket Barrage. Focusing on these two skills will give you the best odds of an early kill and your third skill isn't that great in the early game but we'll come to that in a moment. For now we're going to get the ultimate at level 6. This is an accelerating rocket that will track your target for 5 seconds and upon hitting them will deal big damage and stun them. If your target is someone who's very far away from you or someone who's very mobile, it's likely they're going to turn and run away from the attack to avoid the damage, but focused on a slower target at closer range this can be a very effective stun. Now at level 7 you're going to get your first point in Ring of Fire. This creates an AoE around you that will deal damage to any enemies who enter it. However, it can also be used to boost the power of any of your spells and attacks you cast through it. So when you cast your ultimate rocket barrage, you will now be able to drop the ring of fire first for extra damage, especially useful for your ultimate. At level 8, max out yak attack and then rocket barrage at levels 9 and 10. At level 11, get your ultimate again, max out ring of fire over the next few levels and then get your ultimate again at level 15. This skill route gives Carter the ability to deal good damage early game, focusing on slowing targets before firing off Rocket Barrage. From level 7 you'll also be able to lay down the Ring of Fire to boost the damage of your skills and make your ultimate very deadly. As for your pet, Mystic is by far the best as it will keep you on top of your mana recovery and deal extra damage. As for its items, I like to start with two clarity shards and a health potion. Lots of people prefer to go over clarity stone, however taking two shards will give you one of your early game items faster and one of your mid game ones as well. It also gives you a little bit more mana recovery for only a small amount of cost more. So for the next item you could go for boots like most builds, however for the best chance of an early game kill it's often better to rush a crystalline shiv. This uses one of the clarity shards and two power shards making it very cheap and it will also give you bonus power and mana regeneration when you're at high HP giving you great damage and sustain in the lane. After that I would get the power boots, they're very cheap and will give you a nice boost to your power which will really help nicely as you level into the mid game. The other option here is to get the rune boots which will help out a little with some recovery and gives you a means of getting HP back fast which as Carter can be important as he is very squishy but it's up to you. The rune boots will also give you a 15% cooldown reduction which can give an edge later in the game for faster rocket barrages. Next on the list is Grimmure, this will make your skills penetrate 35% of magical armor helping with your damage on tanks. This uses up your second clarity shard and gives a big boost to your power as well. So previously I would have recommended getting the dragon shield before Grimmure but this item was removed in the latest patch so instead I now let's use a void key but get it after you've got Grimmure. It gives a boost to your mana regeneration that the dragon shield didn't provide and on top of that you also get an activatable effect that will make you invulnerable for 2 seconds. Useful if you come under attack as it gives your allies a chance to save you and it's great in team fights. After that you have your late game items and for this I have two favourites and one cheapie. My favourites are the power conduit or the wizard's hourglass. The conduit boosts your stats and damage considerably and helps with your mana recovery a lot by giving you 20% back after each kill or assist. It will also give you a massive damage boost, however it's the most expensive item in the game and it's not always affordable. The hourglass is a little bit cheaper and still gives you some good stat boosts and power increases, but it will also reduce your cooldowns by 25% and you'll be able to cast your skills in bursts of damage more often and can gamble on a quick rocket barrage shots more regularly. Both of these items are great but if money's a little bit lacking a rune scepter can be a good choice as it adds power and a 15% cooldown reduction. As a final item I should also mention the Diadem. 
This will give you a boost to your power equal to 5% of your mana. In the late game, this can be quite a lot and give you quite a large boost. These items will make Carter a glass cannon with crazy range. However, he will need to use that range to stay alive as he'll have very low HP and defense. To stay alive, you'll need to make good use of positioning to keep yourself out of danger, but also still be able to fire and deal some damage. In the early game, you want to make sure you're getting a good farm. You'll be able to last it very effectively, so this should be no problem. Harass a little with Yak Attack, but save Rocket Barrage for when you have a sure hit. If the enemy overextends or is out of cover of the creep wave, slow him and then land a couple rocket barrages in his back as he tries to flee. This will deal substantial damage and if they were not on full HP at the start, it might even give you a very early kill. You can also use rocket barrage to hit players under their tower, denying them HP and mana regeneration or finishing off a low HP target. Work with your lane partner to get a good start to the game, it's nice if you're with someone who can help you if you get into trouble. It's also possible to solo lane his Carter very effectively. His range makes him fairly safe, but in this case it might be wise to get the boots first as this will help you run away from any ganks and later assist your other lanes. Into the mid game you'll be able to deal really good damage, but keep your eyes open for any signs of a gank as your low HP will make you an easy target for anyone who can get in close fast. The last thing you want to do is get CC'd, so keep your fights nice and at range if you can, and you should be okay. You can start to roam and support your team in small skirmishes at this point. Being able to attack from the tall grass is very useful for getting the jump on your foes and you should be picking up quite a few kills and assists. Start to utilise Ring of Fire to boost your damage, especially with your ultimate, but make sure you don't burn yourself out of mana early and run into problems where you can't get your full rotation off. During the late game in team fights, you want to stick to the back. Use Rocket Barrage and you're slow to deal damage to anyone in the middle of the fight, and then use your ultimate to focus on important targets, either making them run away or take the damage. Either way, it's a win for you. You can finish fling heroes off effectively with Rocket Barrage, stopping them from having a chance to recover. Always keep in mind your positioning. Creeps will block your rockets and this can cost you some vital damage. Lay down your Ring of Fire in a place where you know you're going to be able to get some good shots off quickly and you'll be dealing massive damage to the enemies in no time and you'll be killing any squishy foes in just a few hits at most once you complete your item list. So that's our guide to Carter and a basic build. Stay tuned for more Strife guides and videos but for now I've been Aski here for Nerf TV. Thank you for watching.